Hi, everybody. I just finished the new memoir by Ashley Land called The Thing That Would Make Everything Okay Forever, subtitled Transcendence, Psychedelics, and Jesus Christ. Uh, this was put out by Lexum Press, and I want to say thank you to Lexum for sending me a copy of this for review. So uh, this is a, a little bit of a different book than the typical nonfiction book I review on this channel, so I'm going to go a slightly different format. I'm not going to focus so much on the research, for example, and some of that. Uh, instead, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what this book is about, why I was interested in it, and then give my reactions. So this might be a little bit of a quicker review, um, but I think this might be a title that would be of interest to some of you, so I'm going to give you some thoughts. Um, so the main idea, th this is a memoir, so the main idea is pretty straightforward. It's, it's Ashley Land's story, her personal reflections on her story, which is a pretty wild one, um, and she is someone who was deeply, deeply immersed in the world of psychedelics, a lot, particularly mushrooms, but a lot of different versions of psychedelics. Um, and she tells her story about how that became part of her story. Uh, she also talks a little bit at the beginning about her kind of introduction to the new atheistic movement and actually her disillusionment with that. So there's a, there's a strong theme of religious conversion and religious kind of ideas uh, and spirituality through all of this, but she mostly focuses on her experience with psychedelics and then her eventual turn towards Christian faith. Uh, and how she entered that, and what that looked like for her, and what that experience was like for her, um, and her reflections on all the above kind of threaded throughout. So, so that's what the book is about. It's a personal story, um, memoir, and uh, a very gripping one. So it's not focused on the research, so I'm not going to talk about that. I, instead, I'm going to talk a little about why I was interested in this book, and it's for a couple reasons. Um, I have no personal experience with psychedelics in my life. Um, it's something that I have a bit of an academic interest in, in the sense that it's a cultural, it's a significant cultural kind of topic right now in 2024 as I'm recording this. They seem to, psychedelics seem to be more and more popular and more and more uh, the subject of you know, spirited conversations uh, with with religious and non-religious people about the role of psychedelics and kind of the, the meaning of life and pursuing uh, transcendence and spiritual purpose and all of that. So I'm interested in that topic kind of from a cultural theory academic standpoint. Not It's not so much personal to me, but it is very interesting to me. So that's one reason I was interested in this title. And then secondly, I... Um, really like Justin Brierley and Justin Brierley's work with podcasts like The Surprising Rebirth of Belief in God, and he has featured Ashley Land in his in his work, and I, she struck me as someone very interesting and thoughtful, and so when I saw those streams kind of coming together in the publication of this book, uh, I wanted I wanted to review it and was glad for the chance to, to take a look at it. Um, so my reactions to it, all of that being said, were quite positive. Um, I... I'm someone who, I find memoirs generally interesting, and I will happily read many of them, but not many of them really blow my socks off. Um, and this one, while maybe it didn't blow my socks off per se, it was quite good. And the main reason it was good is because of how wonderfully it is written. It is, I've read a decent number of memoirs, and this is in the top, I don't know, top percentage, uh, top 5% of memoirs I've read just for its sheer writing quality. Um, it is, I think it's just gorgeously put together in terms of page for page gripping style. Her story is also quite dramatic in terms of the uh, depth to which she was involved with psychedelics. Um, but this is not, you know, I wrestle a little bit with memoirs that are kind of, especially like stories that are kind of around addiction or forms of addiction or substance use uh, in the sense of, um, I, f I have a little bit of a queasy feeling of like being a voyeur on someone's kind of addictions and stuff like that. I just have a wrestling match with, with whether or not that's a really helpful thing to do. And I only say that to say that that is not at all what this book does. It's not titillating or scintillating in that kind of strange way. It's, it's just very gripping and very honest and very raw and very well written. And so, so, her descriptions of experiences on psychedelics as someone who has no personal experience with that, I found them just wild to read and very, I mean, she, and she also talks about ex, like exquisite transcendent experiences and terrible experiences, bad trips. She talks about all of the above and does it in a way that really draws you in. And for me, it got probably about as close as you can get in the written word to really capturing what that experience is like. And it helped me, this is kind of the final thing I'll say about the book, it really helped me 
understand the interest in psychedelics. It helped me understand some of the attraction to it. It helped me some understand some of the allure. It helped me understand the way it dovetails with the topic of spirituality and meaning and purpose and, and all of that. So it really helped me grasp with a more empathetic posture the experience of going through an addiction to psychedelics or at least a strong kind of dependence on psychedelics in one's life. And I found the turn at the end quite moving. You know, it's uh, it's quite a moving and really well-rendered description of a religious conversion and a kind of leaving behind a former life. Um, and I think this is a memoir that is very relevant to our time, to our day and place, uh, to the general cultural discourse around psychedelics. And I think it's a great angle on how does religion kind of intersect with that. Um, and so I think a lot of people who are interested in that topic are going to find a lot to really um, appreciate about this about this title. And so, I, so I'm really glad for the chance to have reviewed it. I'm really glad for the chance to talk about it on this channel. Um, if, you are, if you are someone who has experience with psychedelics, or you know someone who has experience with psychedelics, or you're someone who doesn't understand what the deal is with psychedelics, I, I, for any of those people, this is a really great book to recommend because it's also so um, enthralling to read. So it's not an academic kind of dry uh culturally abstract treatise on a on a topic it's more of a it's a very personal uh very vulnerable story that's very gripping and has some very surprising turns in it um and so uh so yeah i would happily recommend this book to uh, you know if any of the above sounds of interest to you or uh, kind of grabs you personally so that is the thing that would make everything okay forever published by lexham press written by ashley land um thank you as always for taking some time to watch